Hi guys, Cliff here. Uh, welcome back to part four of the uh, Savage Bobber build, Dancing Wings. And uh, following the last video, I've got up as far as covering and this work video is all about radio installation and um, fitting things up really. Um, I've just painted the cowl in. It's come up quite shiny. I gave it two coats of grey primer. Uh, first of all, I sanded it really fine fine sandpaper, two coats of grey primer, two coats of black gloss and then two coats of clear lacquer. So it looks pretty shiny. I've also painted the little cylinder head matte black and a bit of grey on the top. I'm not sure if that's right but it sort of picks them out anyway. But before I can fit that on the aeroplane, because I have to reinstall the motor, oh I've also painted the prop black. Balanced perfectly straight out of the bag, absolutely spot on. And it's still spot on. So black gloss and yellow tips because I always do yellow tips and it happens to be the same colour as the airplane so I'll just tip you down and we'll crack on with installing the motor and putting the cowl back on. No! Installing the motor, connecting up the ESC and then putting the cowl back on. The motor is the one I think it's possibly smaller Smaller motor of the two that they suggest MM2208 2600 kV, which is I think the smaller one. I should be running it on uh, 2S. Okay, so that's the motor installed. Um, something else I realized the other day the screws just pop out the other side. Um, just in case I slide the battery all the way to the front, you never know. I'll need to stick a piece of foam in there. 2 to 3S LiPo, 20 amp brushless ESC. So, not a massive um, ESC, but big enough. I won't be running any huge currents through it. So, that's a pretty long cable. I don't think I can reach on the inside, so I'm going to have to test it. I'm going to set it up now, guys and try it all out. Okay, so if the battery's gonna go up there, I'm definitely gonna to need to put a bit of foam or something behind this. The other thing I might want to consider doing while I've got the opportunity is to put some Velcro on the battery floor. Okay then, I'm gonna pop in the cowling screws and might need some different glasses. those lined up lovely okay four screws in cowl on yeah there you go uh, let's get the tail surfaces on oh, I've got to cut out the bottom cut out the bottom first Mark that. Mark the bottom of the tail plane for removing of the film. Should be enough. Yep. Okay, so let's put that over there for a minute. Okay, that's worked okay. A bit of glue there, look, from the film. Okay. 
there's a peg that holds everything in place and the bottom of the fin like that so I could put that in just as a locator I'm going to avoid the center groove uh, because I don't want to glue the fin in yet let's pop that on there I'm going to view it from the back and from the top just to absolutely double check things look as they should Four fifteen or thereabouts or fifteen thereabouts good okay right just drop in there like that okay we'll let that set and as soon as it has we'll come back to it and have a look at the uh, sticky and the flaps and ailerons on looking good here we go then guys let's just remove this and see what we've got let's take the uh, take the wings off and see what we got i've got to do the connecting rods as well for the rudder and elevator Natural Elemon. Right. It's one wing. Come on. And the other one. Put that to one side. <laughs> that looks lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's great when you reach this stage of an aeroplane because you can... Um, really start to enjoy uh, the final stages I think before I glue these in I shall fit the control horns next step and they went quite well on the um, rudder and elevator so there's no reason why I shouldn't use them it's going to go in there now the slot the laser cut slots in this were a little bit on the a little bit on the sloppy side let's mix up some epoxy and do the whole lot all in one go that makes... I've just uploaded part three video guys so you are commenting at the moment which is lovely lots of encouragement there Come back and check them up right shortly. That will slide in there. Like that. What I'm trying to do is get the gaps reasonably. Uh, reasonably close but still big enough to actually operate the aileron of course needs to go up and down about half inch but the flap needs to drop I'm going to install the servos and they say paste the two little balsa blocks onto the doors which are these and Remove a server compartment cover from the wing, paste a small wooden block on the back and install the servers between the small wooden blocks when installing the rudder arm, power on the centre servers centre to get them to the back. On step six four it says remove the rudder horn from the plate A. Install the rudder horn into the reserved slots of the flaps and ailerons and fix them with CA glue. They just mean the horn, not the rudder horn particularly. But I'm thinking it might just be better to have a straight run down. Otherwise, I've got to put a bend in here. Unless it go in at an angle. Trying to get that perfectly set up. 
it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to be honest I'm thinking I might let's just get a horn on a server and see how it lines up through the slot I prefer to do it that way I'm thinking I might be able to glue the wooden blocks on with CA but only if they're accurately cut etc let's assemble this lot and I'll show you an assembled one in a moment um, the server is mounted so as it's got maximum deflection that way which is kind of like obvious really I'll put the uh, the little blocks on put the screws in and to trim that block slightly because everything's too wide otherwise well I might have got away with it right on the edge but I want to give I don't want to get too close to that edge for the servo so anyway so that servo has got to go I'll do the same for all the others now but that servo has to go in there I'll pull the wire down actually I'm going to go to the next one back one there put that on there see if we can't pull it through So that will go in there. I won't screw it in yet because I've got to put the other servo in, but that will go in there. That will slot down inside there. Will that go in there? Should do. I've just got to take a possibly a little bit off just the top edge of that to get it going. Otherwise, it's going to go in, pull it down, pop the screws in, and then I can put on the little easy connector on the horn and connect up the push rod in fact this would go in in first thread it in push that through the easy connector screw it all down so on on step three of the build I open these holes out you don't need to unless you plan to try and fiddle the wire up there which to be honest is not a lot of point you get the idea if I don't just turning it on the server tester there so I haven't screwed that in but had to nick a little bit of that corner post out to accommodate the corner of the servo otherwise it's beautifully in line that you can see some of my stash Spitfire water gyros it's better faults cute girl the one over there the tail wheel though is won't go on the axle because there's a bit of it's been cut with pliers what I was doing well I'm just filing the end of the wire to get get it smooth so as I can slide the wheel on the axle I was explaining to you but you weren't listening because I turned it accidentally turned the record off um, I broke the elevator horn in trying to enlarge the hole uh, and like I did had to on the ailerons unfortunately um, I broke the clumsily broke, broke the elevator horn off now the joke was that I didn't need to make the hole bigger after all because it didn't have an easy connector in it it just had the push rod in it which is the perfect diameter so so I'm just fixing on a plastic horn to take its place um, and it works quite well lines up well so um, I'm not sure if I recorded was recording when I put the wheels on I put the wheels on uh, they're slightly stiff I could open them out a little bit I'll see I might do I might not see if it rolls all right if it rolls all right with the weight of the battery and everything in it I won't worry but you might find that you have to um, open them out a little bit just to line the two wooden plugs up on the inside put 
put some epoxy around the little pin at the back. All right, push it in. There those wires. Yeah. It's one wing glued on. I'm saying rather pleased with that. Okay, let's um could go ahead and do the other side. Click, that's what we like to hear. Click and check. Not bad. Okay, so there we are. Let's leave that to set. And then we can go on to the next stage. Now the struts are there's four pieces of square female carbon fibre. Uh, they slide down onto the little fittings at the bottom by the undercarriage. They also go into these fittings at the top. So you slide it on the bottom. This is CA'd in, I think. Slide that on the top and push it into the bottom of the wing. The front spar is, about, is the shorter one of the two. That slides on there. That's perfect size. So the angled bar, you have the little top clamp thing, you have to bend to the desired angle because obviously the angle is going to be slightly different on both sides. So they're 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 bent in one place, but you have to bend them to suit. So the whole lot's to be CA'd in. Let's do the next one. Well, there we are. Okay. That's the struts in. Um, they recommend CA. Rough up the two bars that they go on to. Then I'll cover them with CA and slide it on. Now, the struts are in. Um, I'll do the other side and come back to you in a moment. So now I'm going to try um, a little experiment. I'm going to take my torb down from the ceiling. I've got a nice hook in there. I'm going to string this one up, put it on full throttle and just see how much torque there is. It might swing it around, might give me some idea. Now my plan, apart from it's going to fly forward, is to open the throttle and see if it wants to kick one way or the other. It seems to want to come round to the left, doesn't it? Look at that. Let's go to the other side and hold that wing. I think that's definitely going to the left, talking to the left. So I'm going to put more Vite Fust on it. There's a lot of stickers here and Savage Bobber is going to go on the wing up there. Now is that one sticker? It's joined just there, look. It would probably be better if. I just cut through there. Join it up again in a moment. From the air, trying to unstick it from the aeroplane is not going to be easy. Now, I'll put that in there. Like that. Now, the way I do it, don't just pull it off. You can soak the wing in. Uh, some sort of solution of soapy water or you can pull it off like that come on 
Got it. And then moving it across a little bit, leaving a gap. Put it back on. Like that. Now I've got just one little sticky area. Pop that on there like that. Getting it parallel with the trailing edge there. Stick it down. Bend it back. And Pretty good adhesive. Pushing the air out as you go. Now you could have done the same technique with the whole sticker, but it's a bit of an odd shape, isn't it? So. the bottom bit not the top bit just laying it on like that okay guys there we are uh, the savage bobber is complete looking very resplendent I think you'll agree fantastic actually Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and leave me a comment. Always good to read what you've got to say. I can get on with something else now until we wait for the wind to drop. Cheers guys. <laughs>